Hello everyone, Storm101 here. Today we'll be having an update on the tropics here. We have Invest was now 90L, uh, just off the east coast of South Carolina. At this point here, we also do have Invest 99L in the Caribbean. And we got some good news from this system for uh, Disturbance 4. We also still have to keep an eye on, on Disturbance uh, number 3. But... Let's go ahead and get started with, I think everybody's kind of main concern at this point here, after kind of viewing last time's video, um, I think you, I think most of my viewers on the last video, which I do pre appreciate most of you guys watching the last video, um, some of you guys are most concerned about this system right here, so we'll talk about this system right here first, this is now what is now 90L at this time here it's got a high end 70 percent chance information in the next 48 hours of five days here you can see here it may try to clip uh far eastern up uh, north carolina there but honestly got some doubts on that but let's take a look at 290l from the hurricane malls it is starting to get a little bit organized here at this time here we actually got the hurricane models now with 90l and as you can see here, most of them have just taken away from North Carolina coast, so there's not really much to worry about about 90L at this time here. Here's the intensity guidance, it's kind of pretty uh, large spread within the balls. It could be anywhere from a tropical depression to a weak tropical storm, but it honestly doesn't really matter for the system because it has no threat to land at this time here. So, yeah, it'll likely go out into the... Uh, uh, northern Atlantic Ocean uh, there as well so there's not much to worry about the system here although I'll I'll do say that there could be some uh, some rough surf outed on the beaches along the east coast as well due to invest 90L there and probably some stronger rip currents um, as well so we got to keep an eye on that as well although I'll do say probably far eastern North Carolina could see some outer bands for a 90L, which is possible. But no major impacts or anything like this, so there's not really much to worry about from Invest 90L. So that's Invest 90L. Let's go ahead and move on to some other people's concern, which is a 99L, which is disturbance number one. Uh, has an 80% chance of developing in the next five days and also 48 hours. It's a high end 70% chance. Currently, it is just north of the South American coast at this point here. And I do have some viewers in some of these regions here from my last video here. But I'll do say, if you're going to be anywhere in these regions right in here you know, where my mouse is, probably have very minor impacts with the system here. Uh, probably just the outer bands from the system, and that's really pretty much it. And if we go later down the road into some of these regions here. I think bottles are kind of treading to a little bit more of a landfall in this region in here than it's in this region right in here, which I'll show you guys the hurricane models on that. And this started to get a little bit better organized as well. And you can see some new convection uh, forming on the northern end of the circulation. And it seems like we just update to 12Z, so it's gonna be different than what I just looked at. It seems like bottles are actually treading back towards this way, although you can see there is a couple of bottles bringing it further south, so there's kind of a large spread of uncertainty with the system here. So, again, we'll keep an eye on Invis 99L closely, but uh, it is safe to say that there is no threat to the United States uh, with 99L at this time here, but things could change. A little bit but we'll keep an eye on the trends very closely here but at this point of time here there is no threat to the United States with 99L which is good news there but here's the intensity guidance here just ignore the models are bringing it to major hurricane strength that may be that might be the cause of it going to the eastern Pacific especially this one right here which I think it'll name be named differently so um, so anybody in the Eastern Pacific, probably needs to keep an eye on Invest 99L because that's where it's going to be going to next. There, 
Although you can say the majority of malls do keep it kind of a tropical storm or a strong tropical tropical depression. Although I do think it has a decent chance of becoming a tropical storm. I think category one is becoming unlikely, at least in the Caribbean. But if it gets if it makes it into the eastern Pacific, it can rapidly intensify potentially in the eastern Pacific, so Definitely something interesting to watch uh, with this system here as well. In the GFS ensembles, uh, even the parallel GFS ensembles are not really picking it up that much. It just seems like it's just not going to make it uh, really into anything. So, yeah, but I think this here has at least going to be becoming a tropical depression. I think it'll that could likely happen with Invest 99L as well but again i think the better chance for impacts will be kind of somewhere anywhere from this location in here it, uh, you know far eastern mexico all the way down to about right here i think these areas in here is what we're going to need to watch here for it to uh, make landfall into central america so we'll be keeping an eye on that uh, fairly closely there so that's invest uh, 99L out of the way. We got some good news for disturbance number four. I believe last time I made the video was 20 30%. It's now been downgraded to a 10%. It has really got this organized uh, today. And it has very little shower activity. And seems like it's not going to make it into a tropical system. So that's some good news for disturbance number four. Although I believe this might have got upgraded to 30%. Can't quite remember from the last video, but. Uh, we have a 30% chance of development in the next five days with that disturbance, which we'll be keeping an eye on it. But again, I think it's a little bit too early to talk about this system at this time here because a lot of things could change uh, pretty, far, pretty far out uh, for disturbance uh, number three. Although we'll take a look at two, uh, the European models. So you got Invest 90L right there. And you also got 99L right down here. Let's follow... 90L. You can see here it kind of moves to the northeast and then eventually have a more eastward turn. Although it has break it a little bit closer to the coast there. Let's actually take a look at how large the waves could potentially be. You can see here some areas could be seeing uh three to four feet uh, foot waves there, although if you get pretty much near the center of the storm, you can see seven foot waves as well. Here's the GFS here. Uh, let's see where it has it. It's right here. Your center of the storm looks to be right here. So it seems like some of the medium range models do break closer to the west, uh, to the east coast of North Carolina. Meanwhile, the hurricane models actually break a little bit further away. So if it does get close to the uh, eastern North Carolina coast, then we should not, the impacts won't be major or anything. I'll say the probably threat will be, you know, some strong rip currents uh, there. So, yeah, that's kind of the probably threat with uh, 90L. And it kind of continues up to the northeast there. Let's move on to the European model with 99L. Just kind of back this up a little bit. Seems like at this point here, it's somewhere right in here, the circulation. It seems like it just doesn't really quite make it to anywhere. It seems like it's actually right there. By Thursday, uh, Thursday afternoon, at least at Easter Standard Time in the United States. Um, you can see it kind of makes landfall. Uh... Looks like I say stationary just a little bit. Your circulation looks to be right there. Although I'm not gonna try these names though because I know I'm more than likely going to get them wrong. But anyways, uh, seems like it has some prediction of making landfall somewhere in this region, right in here, a little bit further south. So we got a pretty large spread in the models as of right now, which is not good. It's, I mean, at least this could be a weak system. Which is the good news there. But I know this video was a little bit short, but there's just uh, not really much to talk about. The really only biggest news is it's really for the Dash Hurricane Center 
you know, with, you know, 90L being named, uh, well, that disturbance over here, uh, and in the east coast there, right now, just becoming an invest, and also the hurricane models, and, the, and also like upgraded probabilities as well. Almost forgot, um, uh, Let's talk about this other system or disturbance that'll be going on to the Atlantic, which will be the last one to talk about here. That actually might be it uh, right there. So, actually, maybe not. It's actually very hard to tell to see where it is. Yeah, here it is right there. There's another disturbance here. There's actually something popping up there. It looks like it just stays stationary here. You got another system right here. So either way, uh, the main development region will be active with multiple disturbances. But we're going to keep an eye in all of these very closely here. If we kind of go you know, later down the road, here's, I believe, that would be disturbance. Uh, they call this uh, number three. Uh, that has the probability of a 30% chance of developing. And it seems like both of them kind of stay stationary in this region here, which unfortunately it will give them more time to try to strengthen if the conditions are right. Another thing to know is the European model is also picking up another disturbance coming off of Africa. But I'll say for the next couple of weeks uh, in the Atlantic, it's going to be kind of pretty active. Uh, so we're going to really keep an eye on the next couple weeks of the tropics very closely. But anyways guys, this is Ark for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy this uh, video. Um, I do plan on to release my September 2020 forecast uh, tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you guys did like this video, hit the like button. If you really do like my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications so you never miss an upload. If you guys have questions about this, you can put the comment section down below. I'll answer your guys' questions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.